Hello everyone, it's Omega, and today we're going to be checking out the newest episode in the series of Lego vs. Swag. And, uh, it, it's, 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 a, it's a dumb one, just like all of his other ones, but, uh, it, this one's not much better than his other seven videos that he's made. Uh, it's called Is Swag a Narcissist? Yeah, the, the title's as dumb as the video, don't worry guys. No, but in all seriousness, uh, don't go and harass this man. I'm going to leave his channel in the description below if you guys want to actually go watch the other videos. Uh, but I'm just going to catch you guys up on the drama in case you guys don't want to watch those videos. So basically, the reason why LEGO is pissed off at Swag is because he got muted in a PlayStation party about half a year ago because of him having a squeaker voice and the fact that he wouldn't stop talking when Swag tried to read chat. So he just simply muted him. He didn't make fun of his squeaker voice or anything. And that 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 pissed him off apparently. Uh, there, there's a second reason. Uh, this one's just as dumb as the other one. He got in an argument with one of Swag's mods in live stream chat, and uh, yeah, Sw Swag banned him because he was the issue of the argument. I, I don't know. I really don't understand why he's having such a hard time understanding why he got banned in the first place. That was a voice crack. What the hell was that? And on top of that, I'm also going to leave Swag's channel in the description below in case you go in case you guys want to check him out as well. He's he's coming up on 1.5k subs, and he's going to do a face reveal once he hits that milestone. So let's get him to that so we can see his ugly mu- Yeah, but uh, without with, with everything out of the way, uh, let's get right into the video. Also, one last thing. Uh, this is my first time using Sony Vegas, so if there's any editing issues that you can spot, uh, don't bully me about it too much. I, I've been editing this video for about like 12 hours now. And I, I've, I've kind of been just too lazy to fix the tiniest little issue, so I apologize. Alright, so sit back, relax, maybe get a drink, because uh, this is probably going to be a really long one, boys. So after two weeks of not posting any Swag videos, Ellen posting one two days ago as a time of recording this, and getting a fucking retard saying that fucking, you know, constructive criticism and saying I merely dislike the video. Yeah, no, I can't imagine why anyone would dislike the video. You know, it's probably not because, you know, you're, you're, you're just hating on someone's favorite streamer or something. No, that, that, that can't be it. No, no, that's not a reason why someone would dislike the video. But beyond that, beyond me making that two, that video two days ago because I just couldn't fucking stand it and I just had to fucking put it out there because it was so fucking retarded, but during this whole entire thing, I wanted to show some of the narcissistic traits or li or pathological liar traits, sociopathic traits, all these different traits that Swag shows. So if others get used by Swag, this isn't my fault or anyone else's fault. It is only at the fault of Swag and the person who has been abused because they should have taken my advice while they could have seen it. Oh my god, dude. I'm such an idiot, dude. Man, I should have taken your advice, dude. I'm so sorry. I'm such a dumbass, dude. I cannot believe that I have just taken this abuse. Oh my god, it's not like he's my freaking friend or anything. No, no, that can't be it at all. You know, but yeah, I should have taken your advice, dude. I apologize. But if anyone comes at me and says, I have been used by Swag, the narcissist, I know you were. And right before this video starts fully, I am not saying that Swig is a narcissist, a sociopath, or a pathological liar. I am merely pointing out the evidence that shows that he has some narcissistic, pathological liar traits. Okay, so dude, you lost me there. Is he a narcissist or not? Are you making up the things that he's saying? So you're saying that he's not a narcissist, but at the same freaking time you're going to say, Oh, but I'm going to show you that he has every single trait that a narcissist would have. Dude, you're making no sense. This is why no one takes you seriously. D does this mean that he is a full narcissist, pathological liar, or psychopath? No. Not at all. But I'm just merely showing the things that he has done that co align with the narcissistic traits that narcissists tend to have. So if anyone says, oh yeah, you're saying Swag's a narcissist, I'm not fucking saying that. And by you would be saying that, that proves that you didn't watch the fucking video. So therefore you shouldn't have a fucking opinion on the video because you haven't watched it yet. A few traits of these narcissistic people and psychopathic 
people and pathological liars and all this type of other people is that they tend to lie a lot. Now, they tend to be really comfortable with lying. They tend to, when they get caught a lie or get caught lying and they get called out on it, they tend to keep the lie going for as long as it can so that they will try to make you believe it. Man, I can't wait to hear the example that you have for Swag lying. Um, actually, I just realized no, you don't ever come up with one. So what was the point of that statement right there, bud? They will not give up. They will try as hard as they can to make it so you try to believe their story that they have fabricated. One of the reasons of pathological liars and narcissists and all these other types with lying constantly is so that the world would have to view them to stroke their own ego. They, they lied so much to make it so that they are the center of the universe and people have to stroke their ego. Do you care to give an example of this? Because I don't recall any moments where he has done something like this. I've known this guy for a bit, and I don't re recall any moments where he's claimed that he's the center of the universe and everyone must be stroking his ego, as you like to put it. Because I, I, you're not coming with any examples, so I have no reason to believe you right now. That is the entire purpose. They feel like they are better than everyone else, which they are not. They also do tend to have a very different relationship of lying, so that's the thing right there. I'm not going to say if any swag has ever fallen into that because I don't fucking know and I don't fucking care. Then what the hell was the point of you saying that? <laughs> There's no reason for you saying that if you don't even know if that are his, if those are his traits. So what is the point, dude? Jesus Christ. If he's very comfortable with lying, I assume so, considering he lied for nearly half a year straight, so, yeah. Again, I would like to hear the example of this so-called lie that he's been holding for half a year. But, spoiler alert, he never says it. It's like, narcissists are very typical to dismiss people as haters, and quickly dismiss you if you even set a sign of not agreeing with them on anything. Now, this is a point that Swig heavily falls under. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you probably know what I'm going to say, right? Where is the example? That That's... You, you, this guy does not ever seem to show examples, and you could probably say, okay, well, you know, he probably said it in another video. I'm not... That's the thing. I've watched them, and I've already forgot about what he said. You want to know why? Because they're 45 minutes long. I'm not trying to watch them all again, because they take way too long. He repeats himself too much. And I don't want to take the time out of my day and do it again. Yes, you could say that I should be doing like my homework on the subject and everything, but I've watched them before, so I have a basic idea of what he's saying. And I don't recall a moment where Swag has, or where Lego has gotten into a disagreement with Swag, and that's just gotten into this big conflict. You could say that the whole Fernie situation. You could say that Swag kind of mis misjudged him in that in that aspect, but at the same time. That's not exactly a huge disagreement where Swag has just gone out on a rampage because he may or may not have been wrong. Heavily, because me doing nothing, pretty much just saying fucking Swag sucks as like a gag or some dumb shit that everyone knew pretty much was a joke, because otherwise if I fucking hated Swag, then why would I be still staying in the streams? I'm giving him what he wants, more views, that would be dumb. This is another thing that I remember him saying a lot. This is, if you don't know what he's talking about, he's talking about when he would randomly go on the Swags or even some other people in the community like Ninja Off Duty and just randomly say Swag sucks and shit. And apparently that 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 was a joke. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you see the problem is though, no one is laughing. You're the only person laughing in the joke. You're that kid in the back of the classroom who made a stupid joke and you're the only one laughing and no one else is laughing at you. So it's awkward that no one's laughing. So you just continue laughing, hoping that someone will laugh. But the thing is, is no one is laughing at you, or no one is laughing with you. We're all laughing at you. But quite literally, they are quick to dismiss people as haters, as in other people's cases, and quickly to dismiss them as other things that automatically seem to be not worthy of your time. So if you're not a hater, then what are you? Because you're not criticizing. Because, by the looks of it, you seem to hate this guy. 
constantly insulting him, making exposed videos. It sounds like something a hater would do if I'm not wrong. So, like, already has, like, four points of being a narcissist. But this one might not fall into him, might, depending on how many people have viewed him. I don't know him to be personally, because fuck him, he doesn't deserve my time. Yep, definitely not a hater. But they, instead of listening to your conversation, they are wrapped up in their own opinion. So, you'll be talking about something, but then they're, they're not going to listen to what you're fucking saying. They're going to automatically have their opinion formed and force you to listen to their opinion. And they will disregard your opinion all entirely. Remember when he said about like 10 seconds ago when he said, Oh, I don't know if uh, Swig actually is this because fuck him, he doesn't deserve my time. Okay, so what you're saying right now is pr pretty much, it pretty much means nothing because you don't have proof. So, well, I don't get why you're saying some of these things. It just seems like such a waste of a video. It just seems like another opportunity to put swag in the title. So, I think there's like three points that you've made now that you've said, oh, well, I don't know if swag is this, but, you know, I'm going to say it anyway. So, it seems like you literally just pulled up, like, what a narcissist, like, all narcissist traits, and then you you just read off that list. And you're just like, oh, swag, maybe. that No. So, you're, you know what you did. You just put swag back in the title to get yourself some views, bud. Say you're in a school project, and you're you're trying to, you know, contribute with your group. You're trying to think of ideas on how to run the project. Well, then one of the pe one of the persons just immediately cuts you off, or says their opinion, and then acts like you're gonna fucking deal with it and do it no matter what. Sounds like you're talking about the overly cocky smart kid, which, to be honest, this doesn't really sound like Swag. To be honest, like I don't really remember a time where he literally just was just like, yeah, you know what. You know, we'll just be playing Apex or something. We'll see like three battles going on, and then Swag's just like, "Yeah, we're going over here." Yeah, oh, what? You guys want to have an input? No, we're going. Over. I don't. Re no, I don't recall that anything like that ever happening. But who knows? But I, like, I might just be getting exploited over here, dude. They got. I don't. I'm just getting abused. And they won't back down until you're fucking just over it and just fucking back off. That's pretty much what I'm talking about here. This also is technically like another point where they actually dismiss you, but they do not take well to criticism. That is a perfect representation of Swag, because the second I fucking criticized him, you cried like a little baby bitch boy and fucking sent mass dislikes to my video. Oh, you mean the criticism where you just kept calling him a dumbass? That is some great advice. You know, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to use that to improve his channel later down the line. Thank you so much, Shy Guy. I'll make sure to get this information to him. Which I'm not fucking crying about as they would so-called say, but it's merely just making a fucking observation. But quite literally, they don't take the criticism well. So if you were to criticize them on the smallest thing, like saying, you know, maybe you shouldn't fucking cheat on the math test, they will fucking scream at you and act like you're the fuck, act like you're a fucking bad person for not agreeing with them, and all this stuff, and over dramatize the fucking thing. I mean, hey, what's wrong with cheating on a math test? I mean, at the end of the day, if you have the resources, use them. I mean, like, in all seriousness, though, I cheated on my math but Wait, wait, but no, no, I was, I was joking. Please stop. Till hell. Well, then this is a part where swag falls under so fucking hard, I can't even fucking tell you and where to know where to begin with this fucking shit. Oh my god, dude, I'm on the edge of my seat. I cannot wait to see this example of how he falls under this so perfectly. But they exploit others without guilt or shame. If you watched my fucking Swag ex is Swag Bad Guy video, this will be pretty fucking self-explanatory. He fucking used Reaper to make his Discord server, although when he was halfway done making his Discord server, before he can even get the security all open, he fucking kicked him out, although then didn't allow him to go and fix it, That, that sounds like fucking exploiting others to me. <laughs> okay, but what was that long-ass pause that he put in there? Dude, just clip that out. Like, I've obviously had some long pauses, but they weren't, they weren't that long. I've obviously stuttered a little bit. Like, at that point, I would just restart the whole clip. Anyway, it's time to the point. The point is, he finally had evidence for one of his points. Oh, well, you know, not really, because, you know, him and Swag were sort of in a party last night, and they kind of cleared everything up, so... 
you know, you could say that he did exploit everything, but when it comes down to it, Reaper doesn't really care. So you really are just trying to find ways to expose Swag even further and get more people to get on your side. But the problem is, is that Swag's already cleared things up with Reaper. Reaper claimed that he was somewhat mad at Swag because of a joke that he made, which he took a little more seriously than he should have, which is fine. We, I'm sure we've all done that at some point. I'm not insulting him for that. But my point is, is that you're trying to make it up to look like Swag is a villain here for exploiting one of his friends, but the only reason why he drifted away from him in the first place is just because of that one long break he took. But they they got into a party last night and they cleared everything up, so your point is not really valid at this point. Well then, you know, also made into using Reaper for views. That was a joke. Using Ninja for views as is putting in Ninja Fortnite in the fucking thing, but eh. That's a joke. Using Critical for each time Danny's in the fucking stream, but... And that's a joke. You see, that's the thing. I don't think that you get what jokes are, because when you say Swag sucks, you claim that that's a joke. But Swag putting Ninja in the title isn't clickbaiting Fortnite Ninja. It's clickbaiting Ninja, as in ninja off duty he told me that he clickbaited ninja fortnite once he did it once in the tags he didn't even do it in the title he did it as a joke because people were just like oh my god when, whenever uh, someone asked who he's playing with he said he's playing with ninja and then they said fortnite ninja so he did it as a joke which is actually a joke and going back to the critical i don't think that freaking Charlie is just going to be rolling up to Swag's house saying, Hey, you know, you've been exploiting me. I, I, I don't like that. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Let me tell you something. I don't think that he would care. But uh, he sounds like critical, so it's at least somewhat explanation. And at least that's actually a fucking decent explanation because people are signing up for critical, and when they hear someone sound like critical, then they would be like, Oh, yeah. Eh. They belittle others. That is a perfect representation of what Swag did. And of what Swag does, to be honest, he just belittles other people. Don't agree with him? Belittled. At all. Not not having a civil discussion, telling them why. Just belittle them. Yes, dude, I have just been so belittled. I just feel so irrelevant, dude. Like, I don't, I don't feel like I belong anywhere when I'm with Swag. I just feel like I'm just there. I, d I don't belong here. I feel that I'm just nothing when I'm playing with Swig. I feel that I just I should be somewhere else because I'm just so belittled. Like when uh, I said Swig sucks and he just belittled me as a hater and that is a fucking belittling. Belittling other people. Yeah. They see themselves more attractive than they actually are. Sure, we don't know what Swig actually looks like and we don't know if he actually thinks of himself as fucking gorgeous. I can actually confirm this theory, alright? I have seen Swag's face, and let me just say that he is an absolute alpha chad, alright? Anyone that sees him will just feel absolutely irrelevant and will want to not show their face ever again in public, okay? Uh, do I have to say no homo on that one? I, I don't think, I don't, you know, I'm not going to, alright? And before anyone asks, no, I have not seen his freaking face. It's all a joke, relax. But still, this can mean anything. You can also use this in a term for he. They think they're just better than them, better than they really are. That's what you can use this term for, technically. Because uh, uh, throughout the countless streams that I've been in with Swag, I've gotten that impression that he has always been so more self-absorbed than him fucking ego, and constantly trying to feed into his ego. And making himself feel like he's better than everyone else, and that he is much better than everyone else, which is normally a narcissistic trait, automatically. Just making yourself try to seem better than everyone else, even though you're fucking not. Didn't we already go over this? He does not think of himself as bigger than the average person. I, I, I swear we already went over this, dude. They tend to... 
I actually have a game theory for these like random pauses that he keeps having. He has like a. I, I, I'm actually starting to actually legitimately believe that he has a list of all the narcissistic traits just open on another web browser on another monitor, that he, he he's just reading them over. And every single time that he's done, he has to just go. Hey, let me scroll down a bit. All right. Anyway, next part. Like you could at least hide it a little bit there, buddy. You can maybe like just cut it out, cut out all your silent bits. But no, no, no. You just want to get your point across as quick as possible. I get it. To frequently gaslight the people who are dear to them. And if you don't know what gaslighting is, it's basically a slow form of manipulation where they slowly put seeds in your mind to make you think that you are lower than you actually are. Oh my god, Lego, thank you for opening my third eye and making me realize that I've been brainwashed this whole time. My god, dude. I, I'm, thank you for breaking me out of this brainwash, dude. I've, I've just thought of myself as such lower of a person than Swig. Just because he has a higher sub count and maybe better at most games than me. Now that I think about it, I probably am a lower person. But that's that that, that that's all me. It's self-deprecation right there, all right? Making, slowly destroying your self-confidence as time and time progresses. That's why it's best to get out of narcissistic relationships, or mainly a relationship with a narcissist, as quick as you can before those seeds can be fully planted and destroy your fucking entire self-esteem so i think he's making you up to sound like some freaking super villain dude like he's like you gotta make sure that you that you, that you get those seeds out of your mind as quick as possible before you, before you lose your self-esteem and ruin your whole freaking they put some people on the pedestal now this is a very small pedestal of people and also people <laughs> Oh, that has to be like the first time I've ever heard this man laugh. I thought that this man didn't even have a sense of humor whatsoever. But it's only the people that they trust the nearest to their plans. So that's why they put them on the pedestal. This may not apply to Swag, but it does apply to some other people that he puts on fucking pedestals. So, like Fernie. <laughs> but... Geez, so for how much this title claims that is talking about is Swag a narcissist? You sure seem you sure seem Jesus Christ, can I speak English? You sure you seem to talk about how much his fans are narcissists quite a bit as well here. Yeah. They're arrogant. They must always be right. No matter what. They are also critical of others. Now you fucking retards might say I'm the one who would fall into that trait, yeah. Yes, yes, I I would think that you would fall into that category. I'm not, I don't fucking care if I'm right or wrong. Yes, the, the five videos that you've made would say otherwise. Uh, actually, seven. Majority of the time, only when someone fucking makes a dumbass argument, then I fucking care. <laughs> now this one is some fucking magic stroke of luck that also describes Swag fucking perfectly. Okay, dude, now I'm completely convinced he literally just said oh this one right here and then he reads it off like he's reading it right off of a website this dude literally looked up what a narcissist is and then just just, just like oh may maybe this one now nah, maybe this one maybe this trait maybe this one will stick blames others and projects their own feelings onto others like on how Swag failed to get his Discord situation figured out and helped with Reaper. But then he goes and blames someone else for it going down that had nothing to do with it. Classic him blaming on someone else, even though it was his own fault. Yeah, this one I don't really have too much to comment on, only because I personally wasn't there for it. I just remember one day waking up and being kicked out of the Discord. And then he told me that Maul did it, but I didn't really believe him because it doesn't really seem like something Maul would do. But apparently they had some history or something. I'm, I didn't, I'm not going to look too deep into it just because I personally didn't have much experience with it. But I'm not going to say that he's wrong in this situation just because I don't know too much about it. Bully, demonizing, and manipulating others is also another category, which is pretty obvious. N no. N no, it's not. I can feel free to explain, please. Lives in a fantasy world where there are power. Oh, you're not going to. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? No, that's fine. I'll just believe everything you're saying right now. Powerful, famous, or wealthy. It sure does kind of seem that way, considering that he tries to negate criticism by saying pretty much that he's just bigger than you, so he shouldn't. So you shouldn't be criticizing him. Nah, kind of fucking seems that way, swag. 
Oh my god, dude, you're literally just pulling shit out of your ass at this point. Seriously, no, he does not try dismissing criticism by saying that he's bigger. He has never done that. You're just trying to pull some stupid shit just to make it seem like Swag is some huge villain. He has never said that. He's never said that he just because he's bigger you cannot criticize him. Because of that logic, then if I was a smaller channel, I would not be allowed to criticize you. Th that doesn't really make sense, does it? Mood swings and unpredictable rages, which I have seen a few times. Um, no. I think you're confusing him for me on that one, Chief. Looks like, even though nothing happens, he just gets into fucking anger, fucking issues that are fucking nowhere sometimes. I... Yeah, no, you're definitely talking about me. Seen it. Goes out of their way to topple boundaries, no respect for anyone. I've seen that a few times. Care to give an example? Like, Jesus Christ, we just keep going full circle here, dude. Seriously, I'm not just gonna take your word on what you're saying. You have to give an example, or I'm not going to believe you. And if anyone believes what you're saying, then I'm sorry, but you are just as retarded as he is. Entitled, everything belongs to them, often destroys your things. A few times. Tendency to blame their lack of success or failures on others. Act differently in public than in private. Irresponsible or unrelievable. <laughs> dude, this guy is, is. He's just reading off of a website, dude. Like, honestly. The, it, it is seriously just so boring because it, it's like I'm just getting taught of what a narcissist is. Like, I'm, like I thought this was a video on is Swag a narcissist? But this guy is just reading all the narcissistic traits and then occasionally saying, yeah, he could do that. He could, uh, he, he could have those traits. No! If he has those traits then okay, give me an example. If he doesn't, don't even fucking mention it. Will lie, distort facts, and change ev change events to suit their own agenda. That perfectly fucking describes this entire situation with the exposed videos on Swag where he would literally make up shit and pass it off as fucking facts. It's funny that you say that because that sounds like exactly what you have been doing this whole time. That, that also. But all the points that I just listed, Swig falls under the majority of them. Like 80% of the points that I listed, he falls under. You're, you're in the right to make your own opinion. If Swag isn't a narcissist, Swag just follows, has some traits of narcissism. Swag isn't a pathological liar, nor nor all these other things. I don't fucking care. Make that opinion on your own. Dude, what what was what was the point? Is is he a narcissist or not, dude? You can't say that. This this is such a weird fucking video. This this seems like such a waste of time, to be honest. I don't even what. Oh my god. You know, obsessed with me. Oh my god, how delusional are you? You're the one who started the fight. You made the first video. I think you made two videos before Swag even made a response video to you. So, I, I, I don't know where you're getting this idea that Swag's the one that started all this. Having trouble admitting their mistakes. Oh, fucking god. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That, that. Yep, that, that perfectly describes it. <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> Hold on, can we hear that again real quick, please? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Do I even have to fucking describe what that sounded like? I don't think I do. If I do, then I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say for you. But Jesus Christ, you know, I'll actually explain. That, that's, that's the sound of big brain activity going on right there. Totally not just reading off of an article then realizing, oh... Oh, I might have some sort of evidence, only he probably does not have any evidence to back this up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But throughout all the things that I just mentioned, it is kind of a fucking weird coincidence that Swake would show so many of these things all at the same time. Which, it is a point of normal narcissist. In my opinion, he's probably a narcissist. More than likely, considering the fact that he would use people and not feel fucking guilty for it. And doesn't fucking care. But that's your opinion to make. Uh.
out if anyone gets okay bro did you you did not have to do that you could have cut that out there, there was no fucking reason to have that i mean I, i'm honestly just losing brain cells watching this crap how much longer do we have two minutes okay we're, we're, we're almost done here it's abused i'm probably still going to be small for a fucking majority of my fucking lifespan on youtube but eh i don't fucking care really so if if anyone does get you know used from this point onwards then comment down below or say anything just in the comment sections of any of my videos i would like to know I would like to know, because we already have a few different altercations of Swag completely using people and just fucking abandoning them, just saying fucking mean shit about them, putting false labels on them, other than just fucking dissing them in the dust. Alright, all together now, show the evidence. When they get fucking called out, but eh, you know, this, this is for you guys to decide. Who else saw that coming? Didn't even show any evidence whatsoever, just like everything else. You know, he just kind of shrugged it off like everything else there. I'm no medical expert on fucking sociopaths, neck, near, nor any of these stuff. I just find it interesting. But, that's all for here. So, Swag sucks. He's a dumbass. The, uh, murder bees never existed. The, uh, riots are dumb. Coronavirus is extra dumb, and uh, hope, hope Danny and Ninja are okay and do good, and don't get used. Unless, unless Ninja literally did say that he fucking found me annoying, then fuck him. He deserves to be used at that point. Fuck you. And if anyone says in the comment section, you haven't taken criticism at all either, because you guys haven't pointed out any fucking actual criticism that I should actually fucking take, you guys are just saying the most dumbest shit I've ever fucking seen, passing, not trying to pass it off as criticism. So, yeah, I ain't taking no criticism from you guys. The only criticism that I've seen was actually from Danny when we were in a party, and when we were in a private party. But even then, majority of that fucking shit got it immediately wiped over with the other one so yeah but uh yeah you know that's, that's the end of the video right there um so, yeah cp really didn't say anything that would so-called make swig a narcissist he gave some examples as he likes to put it but other than that this was really just a waste of a video this is the biggest this is probably one of the worst videos i've seen on youtube i'm just kidding no it's definitely not the worst it's it's not even really close to up there. It's just kind of stupid. This was kind of just a really dumb video to make. It's so obvious that this guy is just trying to milk views at this point. That's probably an excuse that he's going to claim that he's heard multiple times. But at the end of the day, me and you both know that it is true. Because it, if, if it wasn't true, then wouldn't you have stopped making drama videos on Sway? Because even in some of your descriptions, you put, No more drama. We're going back to normal video soon. And then, oh, Swig video right there. Because you said it in this description, but I'm pretty sure another swag video is coming sometime soon. So look out for that. And guess what? If there is another one, I will be covering it on my channel. And also, Lego, if you want to respond to me, feel free. Because um, you're just going to give me some free free content, dude. Because honestly, I think content's kind of dry at the moment for commentary channels. I feel like this is kind of a bad time to hop on the commentary channel train. But I feel like it's kind of dry at the moment. But hey, you want to respond to me? Give me some more free content? I'm I'm open for it. Anyway, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later.